हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज राकेश गौतम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कोयम बटूर आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस वर्चुअल इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम ऑर्गेनाइज बाय गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कोयम बटूर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू विजिट प्रेमा इंजीनियरिंग वर्कस सो प्रेमा इंजीनियरिंग वर्कस इज थर्टी ईयर ओल्ड कंपनी दैट इज मेनली फोकसिंग ऑन फाउंड्री एंड कास्टिंग सो दे आर मेकिंग नॉर्मली ग्रे कास्ट आयरन एंड एक्सप्रेडल ग्रेफाइट कास्ट आयरन कंपोनेंट्स प्रेमा इंजीनियरिंग वर्क लिमिटेड दे नॉर्मली एक्सपोर्टिंग हाउस सम्मरीन हाउसिंग एंड ऑटोमोबाइल कंपोनेंट्स टू दी फॉरन नेशन ऑल्सो सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन ऑफ इट्स काइंड टू एग्जॉस्ट मैनी फोल्ड डेवलप बाई प्रेमा इंजीनियरिंग वर्क वी आर गोइंग टू सी फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग टू एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ दिस एग्जॉस्ट मैनी फोल्ड सो थैंक यू ऑल आई विल आई लाइक टू हैंड ओवर टू Mr Sugman sir i would like to thank Mr Sugman sir so that you know because they have given us uh, opportunity to visit this dear company and to provide uh, this internship opportunity to the students this is the casting this is comes from, this is an export item for italy by our customer See this, this casting product is out of this pattern. We have taken out of this pattern. This is aluminium pattern which is mounted with cast iron match plate. This is a boring area, metal boring area, and these are all the inlay. These are all the runner and by this runner system and this grating system. These are all gas vent for getting out of the gases produced. while pouring the modern modern metal this is a mass bed here these are all gas vent when we are pouring so many gases will come out so once this come out only we shall get the good casting see these are all holes for this item these are all holes for getting the this cavity in this item so once this mass bed get fixed with the molding machine we have to take top mold and bottom mold and in between we have to keep this core and after closing this box the metal will get poured here so it will reach in so many parts here then out of this after half an hour to one hour we shall get knock out of this mold and we can take out of these castings with sand so by short blasting by given short blast machine cleaning and fettling we shall reach this status so now we shall move to the this pattern for molding purpose then it will reach the casting by this runner system and this grating system these are all gas vent for getting out of the gases produced while pouring the modern modern metal now we will move to muller area where we will prepare green sand pour the used sand now we are going to put bentonite so why we use bentonite because it will increase the boundingness between the sand particles now we are going to put coal powder it will give good finish to the mold Now we are going to mix silica sand. This is the raw sand that will be mixed with used sand. And finally, again we are going to put the used sand. Now we are going to move all this sand inside a muller, where this sand will be mixed with the all the chemicals. So this is a muller machine. So it is nothing but it is mixing the sand with the chemicals. So this is the final green sand. that we are going to use to prepare mold now we are going to prepare mold out of this pattern so as you can see first we will prepare cope means the upper part we will fill the sand in the cope and then then we need to vibrate this to settle the sand inside the cope this is a riser as you can see here this is made of sand so we have to set riser to allow the metal to come out of the mold so as you can see here this blue pipe is nothing but a pouring basin so what it will do it will allow the molten metal to come inside the mold 
now we need to compress this sand with the help of dye. So as you can see here, we are having a compressible dye that will press this sand above the cope and will finally compress this. So now after removing excess sand, we have to make ways for riser and runner into the mold. As you can see here, we are using knife and bent rod to make the carving over the mold. So this thing is riser. So why we use bent rod? So bent rod allow bent holes to be made inside the mold. And through this bent hole, all the gases will escape out during the casting process. So now we are cleaning the excess air with the help of compressed air. Now we are going to prepare the mold for the drag part. So this box is called drag. So it will consist of lower portion of the casting. We are going to prepare the mold for drag in the same manner the way we prepared mold for coke. So as you can see there, there is a final mold prepared out of pattern. So now we are aligning coke box with drag box. So this is drag box. Above it we will put coke box. So before putting coke box we have to put the core inside this box. So these are core pattern. So this will allow through holes and hollow cavities that are required in the casting. So now we have to align cope box that is upper part with the drag box that is lower part. So this is our completed mold. So this will be transferred to the casting area where the molten metal will be poured into the mold. These are chemicals which are required to be mixed with the raw cast. So this is inconal. It will enhance the alloying capabilities of the cast iron. This is magnesium. It will, if we need SG grade cast iron, in that case only we are going to mix this. So what is the meaning of SG grade spheroidal graphite cast iron? So this is silica and this is raw steel. In some case, if we need to mix copper, then we are going to mix copper also. It will enhance the alloying ability of the molten metal. So all these are raw materials which we are going to put inside the furnace with raw material. This is raw metal, raw cast iron that we are going to put inside the induction furnace. This thing they have in their premises is a cupola furnace. It can produce 2 ton of molten metal per hour. Now we have this induction furnace that can be used for less amount of molten metal. We have this optical pyrometer with the help of this we can check the maximum temperature inside the furnace. So the maximum temperature go can go up to 1400 degree centigrade. Now we have this crucible after getting 1400 degree centigrade temperature we are going to pour molten metal from induction furnace to the crucible. Now we are filling this mortal metal from the crucible to the mold which we have prepared. So as you can see here, first we need to put the molten metal inside the pouring basin. Then we have to fill it until when the molten metal that is coming out of this riser. So as you can see now the molten metal is coming out of the riser. Now we have to keep this for about an hour or two hour. It is depends upon the metal and after some hour we have to put this on a vibrator to remove all the sand parts with the help of vibrator we are separating out this casting with the sand now this casting will be put inside the short blasting machine with the help of short blasting we will get finally the clean casting products now to remove all the risers and uh, pouring basin and other gating arrangements from the main casting we are need to we are going to grind this casting with the help of grinder so all the unwanted metal parts can be removed we are going to grind it inside also it will make the surface more smoother 
Now we have Sugmar sir, who is administrative officer of uh, Prima Engineering Works with us. Now I would like to ask you sir, how and when this company was started and who started this company sir? Before going to get into the session, on behalf of Mr. our chief executive Mr. Sampatmar, I welcome you first to Prima Engineering. Let me take this opportunity to thank GCT Government College of Technology and especially Rakesh and Vadivel sir for choosing Prima Engineering in connection with the internship program of your students through online. Our Prima Engineering is started by Mr. K. Ayyasami. He is the K. Ayyasami. That is his first photo. He is the founder of this concern, father of Mr. A. Sambath Kumar. He started this company in 1987. Previously, he was working with uh, PSG Technology, Industrial Institute, Foundry Unit, as a worker. Then he started his own by 1987. It is started only with uh, two tons, three tons per month, like that. Now we are achieving here around uh, four tons per month. We are doing this work. So from 1998, when he passed away, Mr. Sambutmar has taken charge. Previously, it was known as Prema Castings. From 2003 onwards, Sambutmar's wife, Mr. K. S. Nirmala, becomes the proprietor of this company, and the name changed as Prema Engineering. Now we have another one unit in RSU, that is Unit 2. And put together we are achieving some 450 tons of grey iron and SGI iron castings. Why did you choose this location as your manufacturing plant, sir? Actually, this is our own land. Previously, uh, 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 surrounding here, so many industries. So that uh, since this is our own land, this area is required for foundry unit. Actually, small in small area we cannot operate. You can see the operations are chain by chain, chain by chain. So that this much area, since it is our own, we have choose, chosen this area. But now the things are changed. Now we have to be in a cluster, foundry clusters. So we have purchased the land in uh, Kodisha, the Coimbatore Small Industries Association. Uh, we have purchased the land around four, uh, four acres. So we will move in future. In between, we want to, uh, this area is not enough. Then we have taken a land in Arasur, foundry cluster. We have started our another unit, unit 2, that is uh, running from last uh, June onwards. You are making so many products in this company. Yeah. So what are the companies you are selling these products to? And what are the products you are making? See, we are actually basic raw material suppliers to other engineering industry. See, domestic firm we are covering. For textile industries we are covering. Valve, both industrial valves and uh, domestic uh, water purpose valves we are manufacturing, that costings we are manufacturing and uh, gear boxes we are manufacturing and another chemical pumps, not only water pumps and the chemical pumps also we are manufacturing. So, so many industries we are feeding raw material to them. So, we, we have taken the sample castings of uh, automobile casting, that is the exhaust uh, connection for manifold which is getting uh, exported to Italy. For twin disc we are supplying direct to export. So now we are choosing an uh, export company, we are tying up with export company and we want to make at least 150 to 300 tons alone, export alone. That is our mission. So I, have see, I saw sir, you are using only grey cast iron and spiritual SG grade cast iron only sir. Why is this is so sir? Uh, in casting field two variety, one is steel and another one is grey iron field. So only grey iron, the SG iron, both are can manufacture. So stainless steel are part of carbonless less carbon area. We have one small foundry for stainless steel also, that is Premier Alloys. That is very small foundry with uh, 150 uh, kgs of furnace we are operating with. So since the large requirement in the field is grey and the SEA only, in the field, in the engineering field. That is why we have tackled this. What is the uniqueness in your products, sir? That you can uh, you can make your, your products relevant yeah. compared to other companies? Yeah, uh, see, the same, the uh, Sometimes the same items will be supplied by others also. By keeping our price in thin margin, not only thin margin, the quality products and supply in time. That is our strength. In your long career, sir, what are the mistakes you think that you could have avoided, sir? Uh, that is, we have started another one unit, no? Yes. I told, no? Yeah, yeah, any year before. But we could have started it little bit earlier. But sir, did you experience any failures, sir? And if you experienced any failures, then what did you learn from those failures? The failures means uh, uh, we have to cope with the 
cope up with the mo modernization. There we little bit slow. See, because uh, now the workers are demand. So we now go little bit earlier for modernization. My next question is that, sir, like uh, this time you are doing internship program with DCT yeah. Coimbatore, whether you have done this type of program yeah, with yeah. the previous colleges also? Even, even so many colleges are visiting regularly uh, in and around uh, Tamil Nadu, even from uh, this thing, uh, Tutukudi and other sectors also. Uh, they will call us and uh, come for internship training. Yes, for PhD and the CIT people are also coming. I got to know that you have MSME certification, yeah, sir. Yeah. And how you applied for MSME certification and uh, what is the minimum requirement to yeah. apply for MSME certification? See, only uh, our started is a small unit now. Uh, that is why the SSI certificate is our previous one. Now the MSME concept is now. So this we have taken. Previously, this is with uh, a district industrial center. They will come and uh, check us and uh, confirm and give the SSI certificate. MSME through online. We have furnished our details through online. Um, uh, th this is based on our investment and the turnover. They are just allotting us whether we are SSI or MSME like that. What are the benefits you are getting through an MSME certification? Now, now uh, due to COVID, no, uh, we have uh, uh, allotted with a uh, fund for COVID uh, due to MSME. My next question is, what is the minimum? And they want to become entrepreneur, sir. Yeah. So they want to know how you started, uh, whether they can start you know, a unit as MSME and what is the minimum requirement? for the unit to become as MSME, so that they can start? SSI, SSI, small sector, small sectors, then the MSME. Okay. When your turnover and the investment are rising, you will change into MSME. This sir, I, li I would like to wind up this uh, question and answer session, sir. I would like to, I would like to you know, thank you, sir. You provided that much of opportunity for us. Uh, and I will look forward to, to having uh, such a great uh, internship experience uh, with our college in future also, sir. Okay, thank, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. So I would like to thank uh, Mr. Sampat Kumar, Chief Executive of the Prema Engineering Works, uh, and uh, Mr. Sugmar, sir, who is Chief uh, Coordinator, uh, Administrative Coordinator of uh, Prema Engineering Works. Thank you.